Common mistake most people make with gel coat is they'll treat it a bit like paint. They'll try and be too neat and tidy with it. And when they paint it on, you end up with a lot of brush lines and streaks where the gel coat's been applied a bit too thinly. The best method to apply gel coat by brush is to basically just load the brush each time you make contact with the mold. So you're basically just spreading it on, just uh, dot and dab it here and there. Get most of the gel coat out of the bucket because exotherm will build up when the gel coat's in a large mass. And that, in turn, will cause the gel coat to cure too quickly. So the idea is to get it out of the bucket and onto the mold. And try and apply it quite evenly in the mold. You should get roughly about 1.6 square meters to the kilo. So from that calculation, work out how much gel coat you need for your surface area. And as long as you've transferred the gel coat out the bucket evenly across that area and you've worked out your ratio correctly, you should have the, uh, the right thickness of gel coat. Once you've loaded the mold with the gel coat, then you can spend time just kind of tidying up the area. If you've got a vertical area, always finish with an upward stroke on the gel coat. This will reduce sag. If you check out our gel coat section under coloured gel coats, you'll see we've got a massive array of colours on there. Once you've applied the gel coat, leave it to cure. Before you apply the fiberglass, you need to make sure that your gel coat's slightly tacky. But do a, a test and make sure that none of it, none of the colour from the gel coat comes off on your fingers. So it should have a tackiness a bit like sellotape, but no residue coming off from the surface. 